What's up, YouTube? Lee, Lee TV, and today we got Pop the Bloom Arlette Edition on the menu. First thing first, I need y'all to start with y'all then. Go to the support by clicking that Amazon link at the bottom in my description. Purchase you some. Help me out. Show me some love. Second way you can help me out and show me some love is by clicking that button right there. Subscribe to my channel. Show me some love. It's not going to hurt. It's just a little click. Make sure you hit the notification button so you can hear my voice. Because I'm the man that make her moist. You did. Enough talking. Enough playing. Let's get to the business. Let's get to the business. Y'all see that dress? Arlette has on. Let's look at the roster. So far, I only see probably hmm, one hour approach if we was in public, maybe two. But um, I would have to, I would definitely have to get to know them first. Yeah, let's get into it. Anything he says, or, you know, maybe just really not feeling his fit, whatever it is, go ahead and pop your balloon if you aren't feeling him at all. Okay, are we ready? Yes. All right, so let's go. First thing first, let's look at the lineup. Now, from this angle, there's a few women that I wouldn't talk to off the rip. But we're going to leave it at that. If y'all want to know my opinion, put it in the comment section. Lee, who wouldn't you talk to? I can tell you this. They got on black shoes. Go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is... My boy look like a straight pretty boy, y'all. He came with the, with the red Michael Jackson pants on. He got some swag now. Not my stilo. I wouldn't wear that outfit. I wouldn't have my pants that high up on my waist neither. But I ain't judging, dude. I'm just, you know, different scroll for different folks, you know. Maybe his career has him dressing that way. I don't know. I work for myself. I don't work for nobody else. So, mm-hmm. Troy, and I'm 33 years old with a baby face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Troy, what do you do? I'm a family nurse practitioner with over seven years experience. And I also recently uh, started my own company, uh, Hotline Health. It's a telemedicine company geared towards uh, men, but I'm qualified to help um, everyone. Okay. And I just uh, love being an entrepreneur and helping the community. And that's what I do. Very nice. Uh, what are some things I do for fun? Uh, mainly, I love to travel. Uh, mainly, of course, experiences uh, either in the Caribbean or Italy. I just love new experiences. I'm spontaneous. I'm also an adrenaline junkie, so either okay. from hang gliding, mm -hmm. uh, scuba diving, river rafting, jet ski, um, and then basic also like basketball and uh, just eating, you know, nice cuisines. Nice, nice. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I look for, first and foremost, um, a Christian woman, mm -hmm. uh, mainly, you know, love God. Um, Another plus is if she does attend church regularly, like I do. Uh, and, and also, if she can hold a note. Um. He says, somebody that attend church, she popped a bloom. Satan, I rebuke you. I rebuke you, Satan. Jesus. God, forgive me. Um, you know, I love to sing, and so maybe do a little duets, you know, would be nice. Okay. And go from there, and mainly someone that has a caring spirit, and mainly someone that has a caring spirit, and just a sweet person. Got it. Now, what are some of your... We got two demons out there, y'all. Y'all seen they pop, they bloom, he brought up God. The two demons. Demon. Deal breakers. Uh, mainly someone who smokes. Mm. Um, and just not a pleasant attitude. And someone 
who can just be peaceful, but also loves to try new things and just have fun. Okay. All right. Well, we did get uh, two pop balloons. Mm -hmm. Let's head on over there and see why they ended up popping. All right. Definitely. All right, come on. Okay. We can have your name and age. Hi, baby face. My name is <laughs> Layla Elise. I'm 29. Okay. And Layla Elise, what do you do? I am a real estate investor, and I also just got into project management. Awesome. Okay. So why did you end up popping your balloons? So I really love your demeanor. Okay, thank um, you. Very calm, very welcoming. I feel very comfortable. Appreciate it. Unfortunately, we just don't align in terms of like the church, okay. you know? That's fair. Um, I am an adrenaline junkie too. Okay. But yeah, the church, that's a big thing we wouldn't align on. I think that's very foundational. It's very important. Yes, yeah. Um, and then, yeah. All right. I respect mm -hmm. that, definitely. Now, is uh, Layla Lee someone that's your type? Yes, definitely. She's beautiful. I love the color she has, you know, and it compliments her well. Thank you. It's great. Okay. Thank you. And we did get one more down over here. Okay. Let's head on over there. Okay, let's start with your name and age. Kendra, I'm 29. Right. Kendra, nice what do you do? Nice to meet you. I work in sports. I am the head of a marketplace for an NIL network. Okay, very nice. Awesome. And now, why did it end up popping your balloon? Just not aligned religiously, but you're dressed so nice, Appreciate so attractive. It. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay. And now, is Kendra someone that's your type? Yes, definitely. I like the accessories she has, you know, and I see she has style with the white shoes. So, definitely. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Let's head on back. Thanks. All right. Okay. So, we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. Okay. Go ahead and ask these ladies a question. Just help you narrow it down. See okay. who's more your type. Definitely. So, what would you say is one interesting or unique thing about you? yourself okay let's start right on over here if we can have your name and age first hi baby face i'm serena <laughs> and <laughs> i'm 29 okay and serena what do you do um i work a regular nine to five i drive coach buses and also i'm a full-time student for pre-nursing awesome. there you go yeah definitely <laughs> nursing connection <Yeah>. ah. <laughs> now your question was what's something unique about yourself correct yeah okay. unique or interesting about yourself um something interesting is that um i shoot pool and i work out Five to six days a week. Okay. So. Definitely the fitness. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go right on over here. Sure. Your name and age. Jordan, I'm 27. Awesome. Nice to Jordan, meet Jordan, what do you do? I'm a therapist and I also own a small business. Great. Uh. If you want to just go ahead and answer his question. Yeah. So um, aside from being a therapist, I'm really, really into herbalism. Okay. Um, uh. So I'm actually working towards becoming a registered herbalist. And I think that's Great. pretty interesting. Awesome. Eight All right. What's okay. going over you here? Your name and age. Hi. My name is Candy and I'm 29. Hello. Candy, what do you do? I am an HR professional and I, I am also a travel advisor. Okay. Good, yeah. good. And if you want to just answer his question. Absolutely. So um, one interesting thing about me is that I love travel as well. Okay. Um, so I think that's one of the things that we could really connect on is just being able to travel. Um, and I truly believe in living life and not just exist just existing. So Definitely. 100%. I think that's important to really experience life. For sure. So, yeah. Totally agree. Yeah. What's <laughs> going over here? Your name and age? I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. Okay. And Tanisha, what do you do? I'm a real estate agent and a part-time server. Okay. Nice. And then if you want to go ahead and just answer this question. So one interesting thing about me is that I actually like anime. Okay. And, um, and also pretty nerdy things. Right. Like... Um, Lord of the Rings as well. <laughs> cool, cool. Hey, everybody likes what they like. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I like. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Let's go on to our last lady Just over here. Your name and age. Face. My name is Naya, but I go by Naya Monet. I'm 26 oh, no. years old. I'm in the beauty oh, and wellness no, no, industry. No, 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 and no, no, something no. interesting about me is I do modeling, acting, and music. Awesome. I love all things beauty. I'm actually getting a degree in that. I love helping people, making them feel beautiful. No disrespect intended, but that's a no for you off the rip. And what degree is you getting in beauty? I'm so confused, but continue. Pull in, understand that health and beauty and wellness is a commitment. Self-care is really yes, important. important for sure. I do understand and I love that you like to travel and I like the way that you carry yourself as well. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Let's head on back. Let's head on back. All right. So I am going to now hand you a pick. Okay. It is time to pop these ladies' balloons. So let me. I watch all the clips and now it's my turn. It's your turn. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So I am going to have you pop. Mm, let's go with one balloon. Why you one balloon? Like? Yes. Based off of what all you right. see, what you've heard, whatever it may be. Okay. Great. Mm. Hey. 
Okay, all so right. Sorry. Why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, just I love her style, you know, the black. Uh, mainly, I think just initially, just the physical attraction. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Fair enough. But yeah, and I love the hair, the color, you know, everything. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let's head on back. Okay, go ahead and ask our beautiful ladies another question. Okay. If you was to describe yourself slash your personality as an animal, what would it be? I mean, from like the jungle. Yeah, it's me. King of the jungle. Leo, get over here. Saber tooth. We rare. Extinct. That way. Wow. Let's start down there and then move okay. back. <laughs> All right. Let's start with you. I think that I would be a cheetah. Okay. I feel like I a am cheetah. majestic and kind of fast in a way. All right. And yeah. I think we all wish it was a cat. So for me, I would say probably a bird. All right. um, Because I feel like I have a free spirit. And like I mentioned before, I really like to enjoy life. So I would say a bird. Definitely. Like that answer? Yeah. Over here. I would say a lioness because um, the lions are known to be the king of the jungle. Mm -hmm. But if you know anything about them as creatures, um, the woman um, is actually really the homestead for for them. For me, for sure. She said a lioness. I would say I'm a cat. And (laughs) (laughs) um, a cat because cats are very independent. Mm -hmm. Um, They love to sleep and love to eat. I love sleep and I love eating. And also... um, Cats sometimes need their space, but they come yeah. and they're they're very affectionate and they Definitely. come up under you. So I'm I'm pretty much like a cat. Okay. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. All right. <laughs> okay, it is time to pop another balloon. And I would say, uh, can I answer? It oh too? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead I, and hear yours. Yeah. So I would say that for me, it would be more of like a bear. Um, I am a leader. Um, pretty much, I'm also a nurturer, especially being in the healthcare field. And um, also being strong and powerful to even protect the home and my loved ones. Mm. So, yeah. Okay, nice. All right. So, off of these responses you've heard, let's go ahead and pop one of those balloons. Okay. Just one. Just one. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Why did we end up popping hers? I think. I love so all the much. responses so far. Definitely. I think the compatibility, especially with the anime and the things, I think just it wouldn't gel well yeah. with me. But, you know, I love your smile. I love the pearls. Um, and, yes, I just think Thanks. off of the vibe. All right. And now, why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? I think that he has a really nice style. Um, his career is really intriguing, and I Thank would you. love to l- learn more about it. Thank but, you. Um, Really, Joe, his career is really intriguing. Out of all the things you could have said, because he's a nurse, his career is intriguing. Really? And the things I think just it wouldn't gel well with me, but you know, I love your smile, I love the pearls. Um, and yes, I just think off of the vibe. All right, and now why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? I think that he has a really nice style. Um, his career is really intriguing and i would love to learn more about it but um yeah okay thank you perfect thank you appreciate it okay we do have three ladies she is not my type in her pants too long ain't talking about but hey he might keep but they got the same colors on now they might got the connection now it's left Let's have you ask one final question. One final question. Mm -hmm. Depending on these ladies' response right now, I'm definitely going with uh, number two and number three. This microphone keep hitting me in the the mouth. I'm telling you, boy. The first look and glance without them talking, I still wouldn't be able to choose because I like light skin. Chocolate one. I'm just saying. You're probably like, man, I came with two. <laughs> Can I check my notes real quick? You have notes? Yeah. Oh, y'all, he came ready. Okay. 
Hey, he got game. This real game. Ain't no notes on that phone for real. That's what you call G A M E. But nah, y'all call it Riz today. That's Riz right there, my boy. Straight up. <laughs> Let's check those notes. Yeah, see, he said I'm finding I'm finding my match today. <laughs> Okay, two part question. Okay. Um, but what are some qualities you look for in a partner? And what do you feel are some elements for a successful relationship? Let's start on over here. Um, some qualities I would look for in a partner is a man that's considerate, number one. Um, a man who has some sort of relationship with a woman figure in his life. Okay. Um, that, that shows me that, you know, you understand women and sure. femininity. Um, Somebody who is loving, who loves affection, a leader, um, a man with a plan. I love intentional man. Mm -hmm. And um, and the second part was qualities of a partner. Important things for a relationship. Correct. Yeah. Um, communication, but comprehension along with communication, because you can have great communication within a relationship all day. True. But it's about. Do you understand me when I'm talking or do I understand you when you're talking? If it's something that bothers you, can I bring that to you or can you bring it to me yes. and without um, arguing? And not every disagreement is an argument. So True. we're able to disagree with each other. Love that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's hear from you. Okay. Um, so I look for emotional intelligence okay. in a man. And I know that's a very common phrase. Um, and I think it's misused a little bit. Obviously, it's about understanding your partner. But I also think a component that a lot of people miss is understanding your own emotions mm -hmm. and being Absolutely. able to articulate those and control them. Um, so emotional intelligence on both of those levels. Yes. Um, I also look for a man whose manhood is not grounded in anything external. Right. Okay. I want um, a man who is confident in his manhood and who he is, yes. regardless of me or anybody else. Um, and then I think to answer your second question, what's important to me in a relationship is obviously communication mm -hmm. um, both ways um, and also uh, the ability to, again, communicate how you're feeling in a productive way. Yes. Um, and then secondly, um, Am, an ambitious man, mm -hmm. right? Um, who's not intimidated by an ambitious woman. A lot. Of, I'm a traditional woman, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? And I find that a lot of traditional men, although I am looking for a traditional man, they often are intimidated by an ambitious woman. So yes. Okay. Make a statement. You say you just haven't found a man, a man, a real man yet. Don't shut down, don't block, don't presume, and don't assume. Know the difference. Do not presume and do not assume. Just like all women aren't the same, all men aren't the same. All females aren't the same, all males aren't the same. Let me say it that way. Because we are the same in nature, but we are different in mindset and makeup. Personality. Got it. All right. And our last girl here. Yes. Um, so some of the things that I look for in a man is definitely compatibility. Mm -hmm. um, I want to be able to have a friend, uh, first and foremost, in a relationship. So definitely compatibility. Um, yeah. I also look for um, qualities, someone who has a relationship with God. So you mentioned being mm -hmm. in church and those types definitely. of things. I do a lot of uh, mentoring and tutoring of children. Um, okay. And I also am very active in the, in the church community as well. Um, and then also emotional intelligence. So one that has already been mentioned. Um, but for me, that's really huge because I want... I want um, someone who is able to understand my emotions as a woman, understand my emotions as your partner, yes. um, but also understand your own emotions and how to regulate those in conversations or conflict and things like that. Um, so in a relationship, I think um, the biggest thing is uh, definitely emotional intelligence and communication. So again, okay. um, comprehending is one thing and being able to communicate is another. True. So it's, you know, both go hand in hand mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Definitely. 
Ooh, those are good responses. They are. They are. <laughs> they came with the heat. They yes, came with they the did. Heat. <laughs> All right. So you do have to pop one of their balloons, unfortunately. With her counsel, she just put herself in a better place with me. But I'm more of a physical attraction person. And if I'm not physically attracted to you, you can have a great conversation and mindset all day. I won't be able to be with you because you can't make, yeah, you can't make him stand up. Every time I look at you, he gonna be sad. Oh. I can't have that. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> all right, why did we end up popping her balloon? So, did, for starters, I love the house. color, love Thank the dress. You. Thank you. Um, mainly just out of the three remaining, I just feel like I'm more gravitating to them too. Okay. Um, but I do love the eye contact you gave when you're answering questions and things like yeah. that. All of those small key <laughs> things I pay attention to. Right. Yeah, and now, why did you have your balloon and pop for him? He's a very handsome guy, carries okay. himself well, and he speaks really well as well. So, And I love the outfit I, I love for my man Thank to have, you, you know, you. some nice and, you know, classic yeah. on. So I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Our two remaining ladies, any questions for our guy? Okay. Let's start right over here. Um, I actually wanted to ask you to define in your own terms, what it means to be a man. But since you already mentioned your religion, what does it mean to be a God led man? God led man, definitely. Um, so for starters, without Christ, you know, where would we be? And so mainly for me growing up in the church, but as well as I've seen how God's hand has moved and blessed me along different trials that I've been through. And so one, uh, using him as the leader in everything that I do in decisions that I make and maybe trips I want to go on or uh, business ventures. And so with prayer and fasting sometimes, um, that's where I get the guidance. And so I see that is really important, you know, and so, you know, I don't hate on anyone else who likes to do it on their own way, but I know with me, um, God is important and without uh, Christ in my life that I wouldn't be the level I am. Thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. welcome. Any questions here? Yes, I have a lot of questions, but um, what do you like to do for fun? So, like I mentioned, you know, adrenaline, but so on a simple level, things of, Singing, doing a karaoke, um, sometimes playing board games, uh, going to like a, participating in a dance class, say like a Zumba or a hip hop class. Mm -hmm. And so I'm definitely loving to oh. switch things up. And he, he had a fan to speak stuff, but I, I'm going to leave it alone. Now. He is hitting me with some suspect answers. I mean, I'm from an environment where everybody got a gangster, so. I'm just not used to seeing his type of um, masculinity. And so I don't like just a boring, stagnant life. And, you know, there's beauty in all things. And so, yeah, that was, those are a few things to list. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Do you go out at all or anything like that as far as, like, the social life in that regard? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. You know, a few of my family and friends label me as a social butterfly. Okay. And so, yes, I am more outside than not. Um, there's rarely a day when I'm in 24 hours. Like I just, it, yeah, that's not me. And so okay. I'm all for the social. He, he suspect again. He said his family called him a social butterfly. Why the, all the stuff they could compare him with a social butterfly? That's not masculine. That is not masculine, man events and sometimes even planning things mm -hmm. outside or even church related to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Ooh, y'all came with all the heat today. <laughs> all right. It is time to pop one of their balloons. Who are we going to pop? Can I ask one last question? Just on where they live. That's all. Okay. Let's do that. That's, that's, a, that's a simple enough one. All right. Where do you live? I'm actually nomadic, so I, like I said, I'm a therapist, but I work fully remote. Okay. So I travel wherever I plan on living. I'm currently staying in Texas. Okay. But that'll only be for a couple more weeks. Okay. Okay. Where do you stay? So I am in North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. I've yeah. been there as well. Yeah. Okay. Where are you? I'm based out of Phoenix now. Okay. Yeah, originally from New York, but I'm here now for the past okay. few years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. With that information, who are we popping? 
One key, one course. key question. It's, it'll be quick. No, no, it's not actually a question. Well, it's more of a statement. Please. please. Okay, 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 okay. I have. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I guess. Never mind that. I was just gonna say that I have a son. That's all. If it was a deal breaker for anybody, but that's it. Okay. Yeah. Well, we do. I'll come back. Actually, no. Let's let's go here first, and then we'll go to her. Okay. So why did we end up popping? Um, I. I understand there's a lot of beautiful women up here, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like when you get narrowed down to two, I want an intentional man. I, okay. I want you to be able to choose what, what's best for you. So That's fair. Yeah, I was just mentioning that I had a son. That's all. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Okay. So now he did say he has a son. Is that a deal breaker for you? Uh, no. How old is your son? 18 months. Yeah, that might be uh, just kind of okay. young. Yeah, and that's so, fair, and that's why I wanted to mention. Yeah, it. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with the kids, but I just, I just don't do the baby mama drama, and I don't know oh, that you have I, I any of that. I was previously married for eleven years, but yeah, there is okay. no toxicness. Okay. But I just yeah. wanted to mention yeah. that. That's he just all. seems really young though for the son, so okay. I, I, I understand. Yeah. No judgment. No, for sure. That's yeah. why I wanted to share. Pop. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's head on back. Yeah, I just want to be honest. Yeah. Oh, we almost had her. Yeah, no, it's cool. <laughs> I wanted to definitely make sure everyone understood. Right. I mean, I had a little song to sing from a match too as well, but you know, I don't have one, so it's all good. <laughs> no, no, it'll be when Arlette brings me again. When we bring you back. Correct. Okay, okay. Correct. All right, well, that is all the balloons. That's fine. But ladies, let's go ahead and give it up for him. Yeah. Sure. Take this Thank mic. You so Thank you so much. <laughs> no chance. Hey man, that's Arlet on Pop the Bloom, Lee Lee TV. Pop if y'all like crispy. what y'all seen, if y'all like what y'all seen, subscribe for more content, man. Oh, man.